He's gone. My baby is gone. Please don't cry, my love. Tell me what happened. I put him in a basket and hid him in the river, just as we planned. Yes, in the thick reeds by the riverbank. Yes, but when I went back to feed him, he was gone. The basket and everything? Yes. Do you think a crocodile ate him? No, a crocodile would not have eaten a basket too. Maybe the basket just floated down the river. That's impossible. I wedged the basket in among some thick reeds. You don't think that the worst might have happened, do you? I, I don't want to think about it. Perhaps the Egyptian soldiers found the basket and killed our baby. He was such a wonderful baby. I always thought that some day he would be a leader for our people. What are you two slaves doing in my palace? It's the Pharaoh, King of Egypt. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. The slave driver assigned us to serve here in the palace. We were told to report to the head servant here. Why is that woman crying? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. She, we just lost our baby. We think your soldiers killed him. Listen, I'm not a vicious person. You Jews were just having too many babies. My advisors told me that if I didn't take action soon, you Jews would outnumber us Egyptians and we would lose control of you. Pretty soon you would be the masters and we would be your slaves. I understand, your majesty. Well, get busy. There's work to be done. The head servant is right through that door. Yes, your majesty. Father, a miracle has happened. What is that in your arms? A baby. Yes. Oh, yes. You know how my husband and I have been wanting to have a baby, but we couldn't have one of our own. Yes. Now the gods have given us a baby. Yes, but where did he come from? He came from the god of all gods, from the river Nile. But how? The river Nile doesn't just grow babies like it grows reeds and lily pads. I went down to the river this morning to take my bath, and on the way there, I prayed to the gods that I would someday be a mother. And when I got there, a baby, this baby, a boy baby, was waiting for me in the river floating in a basket. Isn't that wonderful, father? So, the river now is indeed the greatest god of all. Oh, he's fussing, father. I'll bet he's hungry. But I have no milk to give him. The gods are truly smiling down upon you today, my daughter. Why, father, what do you mean? Just a moment ago, two new slaves were assigned to work here in the palace and one of them, a woman, her baby just, died. Oh, I'm sorry. But she will be able to nurse your new baby. My daughter just came and told me that the princess found a baby. Darling, you mustn't approach the royal family without being invited. May I see the baby? Darling, please. Yes, look, the gods gave him to me just this morning. Him? Did she say the baby is a boy? It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Isn't he beautiful? I shall call him Moses because he came out of the water. It's him. It's a baby. Praise God. Yes, praise be to all the gods, but especially to the greatest god of all, the River Nile. He gave the royal family an heir to the throne of Egypt. You mean you're going to make our... You're going to make that baby a king? Someday he will be Pharaoh, king of Egypt. It is the will of the gods. Praise God. Oh, the baby is fussing. And I have no milk. This is the woman I told you about, the one who lost her baby. I will nurse the baby for you. Then, I shall make you the royal nanny and you shall raise my baby for me. You shall love him and care for him as if he were your own. I would be honored. Come then. Let us make preparations to move you into the palace. Yes, your majesty. You won't mind living in the palace and helping to raise my grandson, will you, slave? It is the will of God. Based on a play by Bob Snook, Conditions for Use, do not sell any part of this script, even if you rewrite it. Pay no royalties, even if you make money from the performance. You may reproduce and distribute this freely, but all copies must contain this statement.